I pay all my bills on time. 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 I pay all my bills. Okay. So this is Carolina Mike and I'm gonna do a little tutorial slash demo on the TC Helicon voice live play. And I'm also using a Switch 3 along with it. I find it comes in real handy for beatboxing and looping. Well, for the looping function, at least. There is a looping function on the blue box itself, but you have to activate it by pushing, like, these two buttons. So the first thing you want to do is get your gain staging done right. Uh, I can't stress how important, uh, or can't overstress how important that is. There is a gain meter here. So if you're going to be if you're going to be cupping like this for beatboxing, you're probably going to have to adjust your gain down otherwise you're going to be clipping and you don't want that. So see that's clipping. So So once you get your gain set I'm going to show you how to build a loop for Gold Digger. And you can pick any song really, you just got to pick out the key parts. And what I picked out from Gold Digger was the, the drum part. And also the uh, those little guitar parts like... And then the... She uh, steal my money! That whole part. So there's like three different parts in there. The only thing with, with some of these is that if there is a, a chord change, in the phrase then you've got to pretty much loop that whole phrase because you're going to be with this system you just layer your loops on top of each other so you got to figure out how long it's going to be but you're not going to be able to really switch back and forth except the final recording that you do if you leave it on record and keep layering and layering and layering then all those layers will end up being part of the same loop if you will and you can use the number three button on the switch three to turn that on or off and then the uh, number two button will start and stop your loop and number one will start recording. Here's how we build up the loop for Gold Digger. Also, I like to use the uh, talk button, um, either that or, or just a, a decent reverb. I've kind of tweaked my reverb a little bit. So... There's the uh, first layer, and it's like, it's really long because there's a chord change that happens, and you'll see what I mean when I start singing the other part in a minute. And then we want to start it again. We just hit one. She take my money. Well, I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger. Way over town. That takes on. Money. Oh, there you go. 
One thing you have to be careful with is when you start and stop the loop. Um, let me clear this out real quick. And so let's just say you're doing just a simple You gotta hit you gotta hit that stop button like right at the right moment and it's gonna feel awkward because it's gonna feel like you're hitting it a little bit early. Um, but I promise you it won't be if you time it just right. It'll feel a hair early, but you're gonna have to do that to get your foot moving because there is some travel time between the time your foot touches this button and it actually makes contact. So you gotta account for that. All right, well, this is Michael, AKA Carolina Mike. Hope you like this tutorial. If you wanna see me build another loop, leave it in the comments and I'll record it and upload it for you. If you got any questions, please feel free to reply. Also uh, subscribe so you can see more videos when they arrive. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. I pay all my bills on time. 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 I pay all my bills on time.